How's it going, my peeps? It is time for the Raw review. I'll say it off the bat. Raw wasn't good tonight. Raw freaking sucked tonight. And it's 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 been a couple weeks like this, you know, a couple weeks where Raw hasn't been that great. Raw's been pretty boring. Uh, I've been finding myself enjoying Impact Wrestling a lot more than Raw the past couple of weeks, maybe the past month or so. Hopefully, you know, it picks up. Hopefully, it gets better soon. Maybe after Money in the Bank, things are going to pick up. Maybe after the after the uh, thousand episode of Raw. I mean, you've got The Rock and stuff. But anyways, I'll get down to the review. Got some gameplay in the background. This is one of the matches that was on tonight's show. John Cena teaming up with Kane. Kind of a weird, you know, team, I guess. Versus Big Show and Chris Jericho. But anyways, show started off with AJ coming out. She comes out. She calls out CM Punk. Uh, she says, you know, she, um, she thinks CM Punk, you know, um, is for her or whatever, and that, uh, she wants to marry him. She gets on her knees and she says, will you marry me? And then CM Punk, you know, looks like he's, you know, unsure, looks like he doesn't want to do it, and then you hear, no, 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 Danny O'Brien comes out, and, uh, he says, you know, you're gonna do a big mistake here. And that him and AJ have so much in common, and that they were thinking the same thing tonight, tonight, today, because when Daniel Bryan woke up today, he he thought of proposing to AJ. So then Daniel Bryan goes on his knees and uh, proposes to AJ and asks her if she'll marry him. And then CM Punk says, you know, you don't care about her, blah blah blah. Then Daniel Bryan says, okay, if you care about her so much, why don't you say I do? So that's kind of a botch there because she asks. CM Punk, will you marry me? So, you know, you you answer with either yes or no, not I do. But anyways, uh, CM Punk just doesn't say it. And uh, really, you know, to sum up this segment, at the end, um, we actually get the return of the anonymous Raw General Manager. You hear that email sound. And, uh, you know, Cole gets on the laptop and says that the anonymous, anonymous General Manager has booked a tag team match tonight. It's going to be Eve teaming up with Daniel Bryan versus AJ and CM Punk. Daniel Bryan complains a bit saying that he and Eve, he and AJ should be the ones teaming up or whatever. And uh, AJ says she has a feeling that tonight she's going to leave with her future husband. Pretty bad segment. I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, you know, watching the epic pay-per-view TNA put on, you know, last night you know Sunday and then you know being disappointed with this because last the pay-per-view last night was so epic I don't know but anyways afterwards you have Jack Swagger in the ring and uh, Sheamus comes out for a match against Jack Swagger Sheamus beats Jack Swagger in like I don't know 40 seconds under a minute he hits the Celtic cross and then right after hits the bro kick on Jack Swagger so you know squash match um, afterwards, you have Del Rio, he appears on the Titan Tron, and he's next to his car, and he says, you know, he's gonna beat Sheamus for the World Heavyweight Championship, something that nobody's ever done, and he says that Jack Swagger, you know, that Sheamus beat Jack Swagger, but Jack Swagger is no Del Rio, and nobody's like Del Rio, and then he just leaves, and then Sheamus turns around, and Jack Swagger's getting up, so he hits him with the bro kick one more time. And then backstage, you have Zack Ryder with Santino Marella, and Santino says he uh, he's going to find out tonight who is the anonymous Raw General Manager because he's heard that the anonymous Raw General Manager is in the building tonight. And then you have Tensai versus tells Tensai, I mean, teaming up with Dolph Ziggler, facing off against Tyson Kane and Christian. And uh, none of these guys actually got an entrance. They all, I guess, got the jobber entrance, which is no entrance at all. And uh, I think the first two legal guys were Tensai, no, sorry, Dolph Ziggler and Tyson Kidd, I believe. But Tensai wins the match uh, for his team after hitting, uh, I think, the se the senton on uh, on Christian for the victory. So pretty disappointed about that. So yeah, Tensai and Dolph Ziggler win. After the match, Tensai attacks Tyson Kidd. He power bombs him on the apron and then hits a senton on the outside on the concrete or whatever. So I wonder if Tyson's going to get replaced on Money in the Bank, maybe by Wade Barrett, or if he's still going to remain in the match. We'll see about that. And afterwards, you have Michael Cole and, you know, Jerry arguing in the announcer's table about who should be the permanent general manager. Uh, Cole, like, pushes 
Jerry or something like that. So Jerry gets upset, and then Cole backs off, and then the GM, you know, GM says that he he was gonna he's gonna make a match tonight between Jerry and Michael Cole as a rematch from their WrestleMania match when he was still the GM, you know, the anonymous GM. And uh, he says he's gonna give the fans the choice; they can vote on WWE.com if they want to see the match or not, yes or no. And uh, by the end of the night, we'll know if we're going to have the match or not, which is pre pretty obvious we're, we are going to have the match. And afterwards, you have Boris Clay versus Drew McIntyre. Very quick match, just like all the other Boris Clay matches where he wins. He squashes Drew McIntyre. And then Santino's still backstage. He confronts Chris Jericho, says, I think you're the general manager, the anonymous general manager. Chris Jericho says, how do we know you're not playing a trick on us and you're the GM? And then, you know, Santino kind of guesses, he's kind of, like, confused, but then, he, you know, he leaves, and then Big Show comes, and, um, Jericho talks to him about the match tonight, and, uh, says, you know, we were great at Jericho Show or whatever, Big Show says, you know, uh, his most embarrassing moments were in Jerry Show, so, he tells Chris Jericho, just stay out of my way tonight, and I won't knock you out. And then you have the actual match, John Cena versus John Cena. With Kane, I keep saying versus when it's a tag team match. John Cena, John Cena, damn it, <laughs> teaming up with Kane to face Big Show and Chris Jericho in a tag team match. This was actually the longest match on tonight's show. I didn't really like the match. Um, the end comes where Cena hits the AA on Chris Jericho, and then Big Show just, you know, he pulls John Cena from Chris Jericho to break the pin, and because of that, the referee calls a disqualification. How stupid is that? I mean, uh, he just broke the pin. You know, we've seen it countless, time, countless times. Guys break the pin, and they don't get the cued. It's just, you know, you're supposed to do that. That's tag team, you know, tactics. Anyways, he breaks up the pin, throws John Cena on the barricade, and then they get the cued because of that. And uh, Big Show just beats everybody up. He pulls out the ladders, hits Chris Jericho with it, hits Kane with it. Then John Cena gets up and hits Big Show with the ladder and poses and celebrates and his team music hits. And uh, then after that, you have CM Punk backstage and uh, Eve comes up to him and wishes him good luck. Says he's been overshadowed as WWE Champion for, you know, since he was champion by guys like Triple H, um, The Rock... John Cena, you know how CM Punk is a champion, but he's never really in the main event, and guys like John Cena are in the main event when they don't hold the title, so yeah, kind of a shot at CM Punk there, and then you still have Santino backstage, he finds a cell phone, an iPhone, and he says, this is the iPhone of the anonymous general manager, or something like that, and then Kali picks up the phone, and uh, Santino says, are you the anon anonymous general manager, and Great Kali says, yes, and then, uh, he's, and then Santino asks him again, I think, and then he says no, and then he says, like, what are you talking about, or something like that, I don't know, it's, it was just a pointless segment, and afterwards, you have Sin Cara coming out for a Money in the Bank qualifying match for the World Heavyweight Championship Money in the Bank, it's Sin Cara versus Heath Slater, Sin Cara wins with his finisher, and then right after, Bob Backlund comes out, uh, because Heath Slater was he was calling out any champions and he was gonna beat them blah blah blah. Bob Backlund comes out and um, he uh, puts the crossface chicken wing on Heath Slater and gets him to tap out and just leaves afterwards. And then it's Jerry Lawler versus Michael Cole, Booker T and Josh Matthews take their place. And Cole tries to escape the match right away, but Booker T slides him back in the ring. Jerry, Jerry Lawler just puts him in the fireman's carry, spins him around. Michael Cole falls from the dizziness, and Jerry pins him and gets the win. But then the anonymous general manager gets an email and says, because of Booker T's blatant interference, um, he reverses the decision, so Michael Cole wins again. So a deja vu or whatever from WrestleMania. I don't, I don't get what was the point of this match. It was, it's, it's just stupid stuff there. And uh, afterwards, you have the main event, Eve and Danny Bryan teaming up versus AJ and CM Punk. Quick match, not a great match either. And um, at some point, a Eve tries to tag in Daniel Bryan, but Daniel Bryan just ditches Eve and gets off the apron. So AJ pins Eve with a roll-up and gets the victory. After the match, Daniel Bryan gets on the mic, he says, you know, 
see you're more important to me than any any match any match victory or whatever and uh, he tells her to let's get married or something like that let's leave and then CM Punk says Daniel Bryan doesn't care about you and uh, that he'll be honest with AJ because he really cares about her and says he's not gonna, going to marry her then AJ gets mad slaps CM Punk then Daniel Bryan <laughs> tells AJ come home come home uh, you know come to him basically and uh, AJ goes to him but then slaps him too and then gets out of the ring, you know, and chants yes, 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 and just leaves, and that's it for the show. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I didn't like the show. You know, uh, these past couple of Raws that haven't been very good. Really, I've been enjoying Impact Wrestling a lot more, and this is, you know, I, I watch any show that's good, you know. And uh, at the moment, Impact Wrestling, I find, is better, so... You know, a tip to you guys, if you're not enjoying Raw right now and you don't usually watch Impact, give it a shot, check it out, you might like it. And that's about it. Uh, if I have to give a rating for this show, I'd give it like a, I don't know, it'd be a pretty bad rating. Something like a 3 or 4, so yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, uh, right after jerry i mean michael cole won the match or whatever the, the decision got reversed santino came out and said he now knows uh that the anonymous raw general manager is under the ring and then the gm gets another email and says no he's not under the ring and then santino says that's a clue so he goes under the ring it gets pulled down he uh then jerry lawler helps him out he pulls him back out of the under the ring and then Hornswoggle comes out with a laptop, and apparently it's Hornswoggle. That was definitely the stupidest, you know, part of Raw tonight. And uh, then Hornswoggle kicks, I think, Santino and kicks Cole and something like that. I don't know, just a, a dumb segment. I guess that's why I forgot the segment. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I'm out. See ya.